Hi everyone, William Weiser is back, again, and now it's time to continue with part 4 of the Top 13 Not My Cup of Tea videos. Number 6. The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Volume 6, All's Well That Ends Well. Yes, I talked about this by itself on the first episode of Season 2 of William Weiser's Childhood Fears, but this tape just doesn't do much in terms of wishing me well. The only thing that it does in terms of wishing me well is giving me one of my top two favorite Winnie the Pooh episodes of all time, All's Well That Ends Wishing Well. The other one is E-I-E-I-E or, and the one thing that both episodes have in common is that they have five characters in both episodes. They are Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, Rabbit, and Eeyore. And everybody else is not in these two episodes. And the reason why I talked about this during one episode of William Weiser's Childhood Fears was because of this picture right here of Pooh Bear getting stuck in the bubble. Yeah, I know it's not a scary image for some people, but it is for me. And aside from All's Well That Ends Wishing Well, the other two episodes on this tape are just... Eh. They didn't do much, and Where Oh Where Has My Piglet Gone became the first episode that I've seen where in where one episode becomes the first episode in one thing and the last episode in another thing. And other than other than that, I already knew that Pooh Bear would be the first and last character to say something in this tape for the first and only time. And the end credit music doesn't fit right. And when I did, when I showed you the closing to my copy of The Wishing Bear, and I found out that my copy has the same uh, video dealer on the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, was the same as this. I was more happier with my copy of Volume 2 than in Volume 6, and... Before I got this tape, I never even saw Bubble Trouble before, so sh so sure, I'll give that episode, or this tape as well, and this picture that I've never seen that episode before, but I'm not a big fan of it. And that's all I got here. All's well that ends well. If I had one wish... That would be to remove the two bonus episodes and leave the main episode on this tape all by itself. Number 5. Any old school Clifford the Big Red Dog VHS. It doesn't matter which one. These versions of Clifford the Big Red Dog are all the same. Based on books from Scholastic, Clifford the Big Red Dog is a show where this big red dog named Clifford uh, lives in Birdwell Island, and his owner, Emily Elizabeth Howard, loves him so much and will do anything to prove that she loves Clifford. Now, the Clifford the Big Red Dog that I grew up with, other than books was a PBS Kids series based on this, and I'd rather watch that version instead of this, because I remember one day when I was at school, I watched a Clifford the Big Red Dog VHS, I don't remember which one, but right when, but right when the intro started and it was totally different, I ran out of the room crying because it was not the Clifford that I grew up with. The Clifford that I grew up with, with was the PBS Kids version, and I don't know who voiced Emily Elizabeth in this version, but I'm sure that in this version or the VHS series, it was not Grey Delisle, who, who I talked about already on the Kitty Cat's Well and her hair thing. But at least I love that Emily Elizabeth. Not always. But, but yeah, I still love her as much as Clifford, but 
I love that Clifford and maybe Clifford's Puppy Days, but I don't know of that show more than this. And if I want to watch Old School Clifford or do something with Old School Clifford, I want to read some more of those books, even though I don't have any. I do have a recorded VHS tape that has episodes con containing some Clifford the Big Red Dog episodes, so at least there's that. And I might watch that instead of these tapes as well, instead of anything Old School Clifford related. Old School Clifford. I love you as much as Emily Elizabeth loves you, but I don't love these videos.